Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And got a little bit of exercise to do. And the exercise I'm talking about is practice. Um, time to practice a little bit of um, lock picking. This is a, a useful tool to be able to have. And uh, so I've got these locks right here. You can actually see the pins inside. Uh, let's see. Is this the key? So there's the key. And we've got a, another type of a lock. This is more of a house lock. Much harder to pick. Way harder. It's been so long since I've picked some locks that uh, um, I was practicing for a while and I couldn't do this one. I wasn't able to do this one. It's been, it's been quite a long time. But, uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens on camera. It actually took quite a while for me to even get the padlock. But let's see. Let's see if I could do it again. All right. So... And a lot of times what you could do is just get a little bit of torque. So you're going to give yourself some torque. So just some pressure because you know, it's hard to turn with, with these, with the pick tools. So you, you kind of use these little torque bars to give yourself the, the torque on there. You need to, to, to turn and get it to release. Um, but you can see see the pins in there and how they have to come up so let's get in there and see if we can get these to just kind of start you can kind of see, you can see them moving as I get in there okay that's about where I want to be oh 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 there we go there we go so we open that one and what wow that was pretty fast. That was even faster than when I had uh, practiced. So I may not be able to even do that again, but locked. And give it a little bit of torque. So there we go. We've got our torque. And let's just start getting in there. Okay. Get the pins. Need the pins to start to release. Pressure. Let's bring it back in there. All right, come on. There we go. Okay. Get in there. In the last. Get towards the end. Okay, I got some of them up too high. Too high. Too high on this end. Not high enough on the other. There we go. All right. All right. So we got the padlock. We were able to get through that. 
just a matter of minutes. So you can see inside of these locks, there's these pins. You see how they go up and down? See them going up and down? There's two. So you can kind of see how where one goes up and down into the lock, there's another one as well. So if you go up too high, if you go up too high, that bottom pin still stops it. So you have to, that's why your key is uneven. And you will either be too high or too low in some spots. So you have to you have to be low in some spots and then high in others where you need it to then you can get it to release. That torque bar, I'm telling you that torque bar can sometimes make all the difference in the world. Okay, so then we gotta get lower. But yeah, that torque bar keeps that pressure on there. So that the very second you get those pins where they need to be, oh, that was almost it without the torque bar right there. But yeah, yeah, but then then that torque bar's got that pressure. So the second those pins line up, even when it may not be absolutely perfect, that pressure from your torque bar here will pop that lock because just that little bit of pressure that might still be in there can't hold up against what you're put that pressure that you're putting on in there. So, okay, so we've got that. Now, ooh, this one was tough. We'll give it a few tries. We'll give it a little bit of, of a try and see if I can't get this to work, but I'm telling you right now, I don't think I'm gonna get this one because these are, for one, this is hard to hold um, because you know, usually this would be mounted in a door, right? So you have this mounted in a door and you don't have to worry about this. I don't have to worry about this. I just stick that in there, put a little bit of pressure on it. You feed in the pick and you're good to go. But let's see. This is it's just harder to hold. It's harder to get things to line up when you have to hold everything. All right. And it's hard to put enough pressure on the torque. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get in there. Is it turning? Did it turn? Not quite. Not quite. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's just that it just did that on its own. Okay. Let's just make it a little more room. Okay. Let's see if we can't get, get this in there. Okay, there we go. And then get these up. Yeah, actually my it's just too hard. Just too hard. Maybe if I had like a vice or something, we could uh where I could hold it and yeah, it's just kinda too hard to do that one. But um yeah, the padlock. Pretty amazing how easy it is to pick a padlock, huh? Yeah. I'm not a big fan of padlocks um cheap padlocks even even some of the more expensive ones just don't just don't do it. and you may say well once you've picked one it, it you know it's easily picked nah, not not usually the case i've had oh my hands are hurting now yeah, i can't can't kind of hold it my hands are cramping up Anyway, well, you've seen it done twice there with the padlock. And um, not, always, not always the worst thing to kind of practice. Um, for one, you never know if you need to escape from somewhere. But also, 
never know when you might lose your key. And I mean, sure, you could just grind grind it off. Um, but that could, but you saw how quickly it could be picked. So uh, sometimes it may be even just save you some time of having to grind it, grind them off. All right. Well, what I had done was I actually had this uh, with those locks. I think there's another lock, but I, I can't find it that came with the kit. But it came with all these, these uh, right there. So that was a, this is a new, this is a new kit. And definitely, I, I apologize, yeah. That's my usual. I just throw stuff back in the packaging. Probably not right exactly where it's supposed to be. But this was an old, old kit. So this is a really old locksmith's picking kit that I that I have. Um, you know where I saw this kit? Almost this exact same kit was on the Rockford Files. So on that show, The Rockford Files, Jim Rockford, private detective, and he would, he carried this around in his suit. And then he'd like look around and he'd unzip it. He'd open it up. He'd pull out his ten, a, a tension bar, put the tension on there, get out his pick, and he'd like lean into it. He'd be picking on it, and then, yeah, he'd be able to break into places when he was doing his investigations and stuff. And um, so, yeah, when I saw this, I was just like, oh, my goodness, that's Jim Rockford's lockpicking kit. Almost the exact same one, really, from the show. If I if I can find a clip, maybe I'll put it on there. If, But, uh, yeah, you should check it out, Rockford Files. I loved that show. All right. Well, sorry, I couldn't really demonstrate on this one, but it's just, I'm sorry, my hands, it's just too hard to, to hold this, put the pressure on it as well, and maneuver that. So, but we got to see it done on, on the other one. All right. Well, I appreciate you um, watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.